and the ball kicking things off at the start of the evening session, the final session of the European Open in Dusseldorf at the Maritime Hotel. The stage is set. There are eight men left standing in the quest to win the latest European Tour events. The big question is, can anybody stop Michael Van Gerwen winning a 12th European Tour title in the space of three years? He won his very first European Tour crown here back in 2013 and he could well make it a dirty dozen this evening as well. Yellow class and lies in wait for Van Gerwen in the fourth quarter final. That follows Gary Anderson against Kim Hybrich, two European Tour winners meeting in that one. Mensal Sulevich and Peter Wright follow these two, but right now it's all about Bunting and Jenkins. Stephen Bunting dropping just four legs so far this weekend against Stefan Stoika, and more significantly against Michael Smith, seeing off the number three seed, so he'll be... Fairly confident at this particular moment in time, but Terry Jenkins, plenty of fighting spirit. First leg, Terry to throw first. In his 6-5 win over Ian White. Paul Nicholson in the chair alongside me for this one. Yeah, it's a really tantalising uh, few games we've got tonight. And I think that we've got four quarterfinals. Two semifinals and a final to look forward to. I go what you were saying. I think uh, Stephen's performance against Michael was very good. I think it was very professional. It feels like 100. ages ago because we've had such a great afternoon of darts already. But my God, get strapped in, get the kettle on, watch this for the rest of the night because we could be in for something quite special. And there you go. You don't need Paul Nicholson to tell you that. You let Terry Jenkins do the talking as well. I've been accused of being mystic in the past. I've called a few nine daughters. <laughs> I'm not getting those juices tonight. 100. Well, Terry hit four 180s in that uh, win over Ian White. He hit three against Johnny Clayton as well. Takes his tally for the weekend to eight so far. Really gripping encounter with uh, Ian White. Jenkins led 3-0. 65. He was then pegged back to three apiece. He never actually trailed in the match. Not at all. And he came through in the deciding leg. 60. Well, the beautiful Terry thing about tonight is that 60. nobody is talking about Terry Jenkins. They're all talking about Klassen versus Van Gerwen, Hybrex versus Anderson, which I can't wait for. So this is almost like the, the pre-show in, in a lot of people's respects, but you can't count these guys 60. out. They played very good at the start of this afternoon. Yeah, Terry Jenkins gone so close on so many times in so many prestigious tournaments. Neither of these two has uh, won a European Tour title, so one of them will be guaranteed a place in the semi-finals. Winner of this to face either Sulevich or Wright. Who are on stage the next is Terry, Terry Jenkins. Jenkins. Checks out on 56 for the opening leg of the game first quarter-final. That's the key to Terry's game, I think, when he's strong on tops and he's hitting it with regularity. If he does have a miss, if it's at the visit where he hits the 99. double... He, he can actually be very, very destructive on his, uh, his scoring as well. He's getting his first start right so far in this match because he can build a throw together. 140. Well, these two have met many times before. The head-to-head uh, -head is actually level, but the most recent best of 11 encounters were both last year in the Players' Championship. 81. One in Ireland in October, which Bunting won 6-5, and one in March in Barnsley, which Bunting also won by six legs to one. So he's got a little bit of 100. form in the heads heads behind him. But it was Jenkins who came through when they met in the quarterfinals of the European Championships in 2014. Jenkins won that one 10-7. They've never actually met on the European Tour before. Now they have. But now they have. And it's Jenkins who has the early advantage and Against the bunting throw here, if you can find a treble, sixty well, it doesn't. I'm not so sure about that shot from Terry. I think after that covered 60 on the first shot, it might have been prudent to go to the treble 17 and then try and find a way of leaving a finish another way. But there's only one way Stephen's going here. 140. Wanted to fill it up. But 140 looks pretty good when Terry sat on button 2 or 1. Well, there's the 1. You don't mind that, really. You want to stick in a 140, but 41. if you get the one on the first dart, you Steven, must be thinking required. one, two, 85. one. Leave myself 80. That means Stephen's probably going to have to go for the ball. Well, he's already hit the ball. He's got to hit double 16 now, and he has Eight done so. Charles in the second leg, Stephen Bunting. Ball for the ball against first. the ball. Game on. 
How many balls do you want? <laughs> no more ball. <laughs> All right, you, oh, 60. I'll give you that one. Well, Jenkins making a sluggish start to this third leg as well. Now, the way things have been going in this game so far, it's only two legs in, admittedly, but you just get the feeling that it could be quite tight. Again, a lot of celebrations and a bit of aggression in the final two games that we have in the quarters, but I think maybe in this game it'll just be a bit old school. Get up there. 60. No real big celebrations, just get it done. Yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much the way it's going to be. Seventy-six. Well, Terry had a few loose starts in his last 16 match against uh, Ian White. And he had a couple of visits that you'd rather forget. So he has played well in this tournament, but there have been visits that essentially would like to eradicate from his game. So it says to me that Terry can probably play a little bit better than he has, which <laughs> is encouraging. Well, Bunting, nine darts, he's only scored 169. 105. If you are going to have a scratchy leg, as Bunting is, it's always advisable to do it on your opponent's throat. Might echo that point. So you recall 120. So Jenkins, a firm favourite here to hold for a 2-1 lead. Shanghai is on the cards here. Topsy wants then for a 2-1 advantage. And Topsy gets in the third leg. That'll do nicely. Jenkins. That'll do very nicely. Fourth leg, Stephen to throw first. When Terry Game was on. making a lot of major finals earlier on, sort of 2007, 2008, he had a longer stem and a bigger flight. He made a change about two 59. years ago before he made a couple of other major finals. And he shortened that stem out and slimmed the flight up just to try and get something else from his game. 140. He's never been one to really mess with his kit. He's never been a tinkerer like a, a tailor or a right. Yeah. That would be a good nickname for him, though. Terry the Tinkerer. <laughs> 58. But... He's a bit stubborn when it comes to his equipment. His barrel has never really changed. Oh, we're stuck with that smooth barrel. And you'd think 30. there'd be no grip on a smooth dart, but it's deceptive. If you've got slightly rough hands, it'll feel very grippy. It's the same principle with Stevens. Thin, smooth, but in Stevens' case, wow, are they light. 121. Yeah, Terry Jenkins, renowned for his near misses in the uh, game of darts. He reached the final of the World Match Play on two occasions, the World Grand Prix on two occasions as well. The UK Open two years ago, the Grand Slam of darts, the European Championship runner-up in that as well. Runner-up in the Premier League too in 2007. Made the semis of the Worlds a few years ago as well. Never actually got the 99. job done. He has, uh, of course, secured non-major titles. He... Uh, Remains without a PDC title since winning the uh, Players' Championship event in Barnsley last September. Points on the floor there. 72. And uh, this time it's Jenkins' Steve, turn to just be derailed here. But again, no great damage done on the bunting throw. Bunting on 164. We've seen a few bounce outs today, but well, none of them were like that. That was a genuine hitting the wire bounce out. Not one where the flights were nestling and it impeded the dart from hitting the board. Yet many of West Newton's remain just inexplicable. One of those Happened things. Just far too many times. 140. It's more like it from Terry. He's Senior down to 96. So if Bunting does fluff his lines here, Jenkins can pounce. 48 remaining. Topsy wants then. 24. Mm, might be half Terry a chance here for Jenkins. 96. Yeah, he'll be licking his lips here because that was the kind of shot that Stephen Bunting was taking out earlier against Michael Smith. But look at this. Double 18. It's just under the wire. Double nine then for a 3-1 lead. And that's a big let off for Stephen Bunting. He'll return now with Stephen three days at double top. 40. He knows that was a chance. And we had to look twice at the double 18. We thought at first look it was actually in, but it wasn't. Is this going to be in? Yes, it, it is. And full flag. Stephen Bunting. Right in the middle of the bed. Fifth leg Terry to throw first. And I think that's game about one. as big a celebration as we'll see in the middle of this game. They're just getting their heads down. But in that leg previously, I noticed there was another, what we like to call, a bag of nails 60. shot. <laughs> you know, a treble one, a one, and a 19. And I think there's been too many of those for Terry in this tournament so far. If he's going to get further, I think we need to see less of that and more of what he did in the very first leg, which was very tidy. 60. 
mentioned all those near misses for Terry as well. He was a semi-finalist in Austria in the most recent European Tour event, of course. He had failed previously to get beyond the last 16 in any of his uh, six events building up to uh, that particular one. Like Terry, say, Terry yeah. played very, very well in Vienna. But I think the heat ultimately on that stage against Michael Smith in the semi-finals got to him. And he just ran out of juice. He certainly did. Uh, last one in Blackpool as well, losing to Gary Anderson in the last 16 of the match play. 59. That's oh. another scratchy visit here from uh, Terry Jenkins. Nine darts, he's only down to 3-1-6. And if Bunting can punish him here, which he has done with a 177. This could well be a turning point. Could be. But if Terry's going to repost... What oh. better way to do it? My word, he needed that. Just giving Bunting something to think about here, but Bunting's in the mood. That would have been something. It certainly would have been. 96, so you recall 130. But he's handily placed here, Bunting, anyway, should Jenkins fail with this, and, uh, well, 56 left. Ninety-six tops for him as well, but Bunting. Steven, you require 68. Well, potential two-dart checkout from here for a 14-dart steal. Well, 16 it is. For double 16, he likes this corner. Oh, that was a big chance. That's about as big a chance as he's had so far to break. And this is Terry's corner of the board. Not that a dartboard has corners. Oh, that's a long way off. Double five, awkward. 30. And Bunting breathes again here. Another chance for a steal and a break of throw. Steven, you require 16. In this very nervy, very edgy fifth leg of this first quarter final. Double four. Not there yet, Stephen, but he's there now. He, he gets over the, the line. 18 Stephen dart Bunting. break of throw for a 3 2 lead. It's advantage to the bullet. Definitely is now. Six legs, Stephen That's to all throw first. That could be the difference between Game these on. two guys. One break, and all of a sudden, Stephen Bunting, if he holds here, is going to be looking at a two leg advantage. And that's all he needs really to stay in front is hitting this treble 20 oh, with absolute oh, regularity. Oh, well, that's what you need to do. You've just secured a break, and then you just really hammer home your advantage by rattling in a 80 to open things off in the following leg. Brilliant stuff from Bunting. That's demoralising for Jenkins, but this might just get him back into contention if uh, Bunting can't find another big score here, which he doesn't. 83, 83. sort of halved that uh, opening salvo. Here's a question for you, Rob. Have you actually held Stephen Bunting's darts before? 140. No, but they are the lightest on the circuit, I believe. They really are, and I think they're so thin and light that he struggles to get the stems in because they're of a, a 2BH 98. width, and he's got to really screw them in there because they really are that worn down. But they're so light. I just, I've got no 95. idea how he throws them. And he's, he's a big lad with a very big force in his right arm yeah. and shoulder. Well, they're serving him pretty well at the moment. It just goes to show 92. how much he favours double 16 and double 8 because sitting on 140 there, a lot of players would have stayed on the treble 20 to hit double 10 and possibly get rid of it on this visit. 105. But he'd rather Steven, come back for a 48, 48 as opposed to maybe tops or 10s. Absolutely. Well, he's missed the 16 completely there with the first dart. Hey, the six legs, Stephen again, Bunting. you wouldn't really Some advise that particular to route to uh, glory, but he's Game got away on. with it. The first dart was off the board completely. Found the 16, found the double, 4-2 he leads. A bit of a showman shot, I think. He actually tapped 59. his temple when he was going back to the table as if to say, come on, Stephen, what are you doing? But in a funny sort of way, what that situation does to your mental state is that you think more about the first dart, you get the second one in the single, and you're too busy laughing at yourself, and it relaxes you in a crazy sort of way. It's amazing how many times you take a shot out when that happens. 140. Jenkins briefly threatening another 180. That would have been his third of the evening. And he's just pulled that low, so he just steps over to the uh, left-hand side. 100. Of the I say left hand side, he starts so far over on the right, doesn't he, Stephen Bunting? Yeah, he's uh, starting in 100. Austria. He goes to the Middle East in Germany. And then you've got what's called Gildingville mm. over in the left hand side. Where he blocks the camera. 
Easy seven. Well, I feel this is a must-win leg for Terry. It is. He's got a slight cushion here. 140. Well, that'll do nicely. So 153, the uh, advantage now for Jenkins. He's down to a finish on his throw. Bunting once again strays into the fives. He won't mind that treble five Terry, as long as he gets 62. 260s with it. But he doesn't. He's left to finish. He's now, that, that's all right, Terry. That's fine. 56 is good because you like tops. 22. But will he come back? Stephen, you require 100. Intelligently, Stephen Bunning has left the right number. This that's would be a sickener, though, for Terry Jenkins. Well, he's got away with it. He won't be finishing here. And that's hit the seven as well, Stephen. So just watch his step here, bullet. 30. And he's Terry, set. you require 40. In again here, Terry. And he's short the seventh leg. Terry Jenkins. in another leg. That's, that's exactly what you need first. to do in that situation Game because on. you don't want to give him the opportunity to have a three-leg advantage. All of a sudden, your back's against the wall, you've got to win every leg, the pressure's on yourself. At least this way, he's in touching distance. If Stephen makes a mistake, then he should be there to pounce. Yeah. But on your throw, 140 will take nine times out of ten. 140! Trading 140s at the outset of this eighth leg. Stephen's one of the few players I know that has a throw that is just physically almost impossible because he can block the 60 bed. And even though his darts land upright, he can still push it through. And that's just from practicing so much. He knows how his darts behave. 123. Well, a European Tour semi-final for Stephen Bunting. That's uncharted territory for him. Not so for Terry Jenkins. He's uh, made the final of one of these events in Gibraltar in 2015. Stephen's been in a lot of different semi-finals. I know he'll want to get into a first European Tour semi-final. But 105. in his BDO days, he made a lot of semi-final spots on stages like this but hey, this is a bit grander for me and not just because we're here and talking about it now Stephen there's something Uribe very very 36. special about this tournament the european darts open for me is the grandest of all behind the european championships oh well he's uh oh. straight into the double four play. but it's Stephen a terrific Button. recovery Finds finds the mentor the double 14. Game on. Versatility coming to the fore there for Stephen Bunting. I get the feeling there's going to be a conversation no matter what happens after this match. Purely about Stephen's way of getting rid of things. So you miss the board, you hit the single, you hit the double. You go for double 18, you hit double 4, you hit double 14. It's like he's playing an exhibition 59. match. Well, we talked about insurance policies, didn't we, yesterday, and that was certainly... A very, very good one. Cash that one in, but here's Jenkins. Is he on a nine darts? No, he's not. 23. Great effort, Five off. Perfect darts for TJ. Kim Hybrex going close earlier, as he did yesterday, with six perfect darts. 134. He is the 180 king so far this weekend, Kim Hybrex. He's uh, on 11 at the moment. He's going to need them against Gary Anderson. 34. That match has got every possibility to be one of the best matches we have ever seen on the European Tour. But I don't want to build it up too much because sometimes they just don't 42. deliver. Yeah. So he requires 64. And often matches that don't promise much just take us all by surprise. Uh, 56 remaining. So tops for Terry Jenkins here to trim the gap 44. to 5-4. And he's not there yet. Just as well that Bunting's on 2-6-6. Six, six. But a big score here. It might just... Give Terry something to think about. And if anything, it'll give the crowd something to shout about as well. 190! Terry got 20. Well, yeah. Okay, he's short in the ninth leg. Terry Jenkins. Yeah, no Does messing about Terry there. Terry Flick Stephen to throw first. Yeah, Terry knows Game what he's on. got to do now. Hey, the break in this leg. Are you going back upstairs and getting on the next plane home? 60. That's not what Stephen wanted. And Terry will smell blood. If he can hit a couple of 60s here, got to put him under pressure very early. Great adjustment. Oh, he's gone into the five. 95. That was an unfortunate kiss on the second dart, but that second dart was brilliant. 
95 is better than 55. 100. That dart's exact mm. proof of what I was talking about earlier. He's blocked it with two darts. Somehow has got it through there and hit a ton. 140. Well, two darts there from Terry right in the bottom corners of that treble 20 bet. 140 he scores. Might just be sensing this opportunity here. I think this, this leg is boiled up nicely because Terry effectively has the throw. Needs to get his foot on the gas here, though, if he wants to really press 96. home. Here's advantage. He's down to a finish first. It's the biggest of the lot. Yeah, good thinking. 4.19s on top of a single 20 when you're on 2.66 leaves you a finish. 99. Yeah, good Terry, 60 there. It's not big pressure on this 170. You've got to think he might have six darts, unless Stephen Bunting produces a little bit of magic. Could do with a treble. 58. And he hasn't got one. Stephen, you require 142. And when you're on 170 and you don't get the first 60, you've got to be thinking to yourself, right, OK, let's have 130 or 134, just so I'm sitting on a double if I come back. That's if I come back. Triple 14, will he go? No, he's gone for the bullseye. 102. That surprises me, because it was a good lie on that 60. Mm. So, 60s you need. Still needs a treble 20. Another errant treble. 42. So, Stephen, you require 40. funding for his first European Tour semi-final to knock out the bull. It's tops for the second dart. It is there. Sure. And the match Six more still Bunting. Bunting. And Terry Jenkins doesn't back up what he did in Vienna. Stephen Bunting is the one going through, and he will be back later on tonight. Where he will face either Mensor Silovic or Peter Wright in the semi-finals. That break in the fifth leg proving decisive. That earned him a 3-2 lead. He established a two-leg cushion soon after that as well, and from that moment on, it was always going to be a tough tall order for Terry Jenkins to get back into contention. Did almost threaten to take it to a decider late on in the day, but it's Bunting who goes through, winning 6-4. He's beaten Michael Smith, and now he's beaten Terry Jenkins, and we'll see more of the bullet later on this evening. Mensor and Peter Wright on the way next. Stephen, congratulations. The first semi-final on the European Tour? Yeah, no, it feels good. Um, I'm playing really well at the minute. Terry's a, a doggy fighter. You know what you're going to get with him. And uh, you can never seem to shake him off. He's a fantastic player. And I'm really happy to get over the line and be in the semi-finals. When we met each other on Thursday, you said, oh, I've got a good feeling. I'm, I'm, I'm doing better and better. And that's, that's the truth. Yeah, I've been practicing at home with uh, David Pallett, um, also with uh, John Bowles and Anastasia. And, it's been going really well, to be honest. I've, I've been keeping myself to myself. Obviously, just enjoy, enjoying it again, and uh, I can't wait for the next one now. Yeah, see you later again. Thank you very much. Stephen Bunting. <laughs> Der ist happy. Er sagt, Terry Jenkins ist ein so harter Knochen. Den musst du erst einmal bezwingen. Und das, was er mir schon am Donnerstag gesagt hat, als er hier ankam, sagte, ich habe ein gutes Gefühl. Ich